talking about your high school experience and yeah, social. Yeah, yeah. And it, you know, it's just a known fact that if you're separated, you're inherently unequal. You know, mm -hmm. you can't be uh, pushed together or not let be together and you have to they stand over here or on a different floor uh, it's not going to be the same right. you know and and sometimes the used books or something has markings in them and mm -hmm. a page just, just destroy, destroyed um, so you know with that term separate but equal why would they be separated if they're going to be treated equally and just be together I didn't really feel I'm different, but mm -hmm. I knew that things were different for certain groups of people. But being a kid and, you know, when things were just rolling along, the thing that really you figure all this out is when you get to be a grown man and, you know, when you're a kid and you're working at some little shacky place, you know, hamburgers or something. But when you get to places like Santa Fe Railroad and Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company, you realize these people, they're, they're, they're not, you know, they, they flat out tell you, well, we don't have, we don't hire no colored people uh, as uh, electricians or welders or pipe fitters or machinists. And we have, they're not qualified. You know, and still, you know, people who fix cars and do all kind of stuff like that. My dad worked at Santa Fe for years, but he never got to be uh, in, you know, the maintenance or the actual, you know, he just put steel together. Mm -hmm. And when I found out that they were given a test, I worked for Santa Fe for a small time and they took me in the office and gave me a math test and he said man you're, you're past this test I, I'm, I'm gonna go tell the plant manager now why would he I mean I, at the time I was like and he said some things that you couldn't say nowadays to people uh, he's in this office down at Santa Fe I was only at Santa Fe for three or four years okay. then I went out to Goodyear for 37 years so that's mm -hmm. a little bit of difference and they wouldn't dare say what he said. Mm -hmm. He says, well, you're a big old a colored boy. Uh, you look like you uh, passed this. You knew you could do some math, can't you? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, you, do you go to church or anything like that? And I said, oh, yeah, I, I, my father-in-law is assistant pastor of the church. And uh, he says, well, I thought maybe you was out getting drunk and chasing whores or something like that. And I said, excuse me, no, I, he said, well, listen, uh, if you can do your math stuff, we'll hire you as a, a machinist. Mm -hmm. But, you know, think about it. First of all, he's asking about religion. You know, and then your your lifestyle or what you do and whether you, you know what I mean? And he is the head of the plant. Right. You know, so you heard people in that plant back in the 60s, you know, right after Martin Luther King and, uh, you know, Kennedy and them get murdered. Mm -hmm. People were saying things like, oh, that old Martin Luther Coon's gone, you know, and, and all that. Now, this ain't in the fourth grade, in the third grade. The people who really were cut-ups and acted stupid were the uh, adult men. Really? Yeah, and then I wondered, do you, and you know what they reminded me of? The boys at Topeka High. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's why they act that way. Their dads <laughs> act that way. <laughs> yeah, I did, you know, it really struck me. And then when I went to Goodyear, oh man, they told us that, you know, you don't qualify. So the fed, we made tires and the government said, you, we will not buy your tires because you don't, sh you don't have people of color uh, in uh, the types of jobs, electricians, pipe fitters, mm -hmm. uh, machinists, and all that. And they said, well, there's nobody like that that's qualified here in Topeka. So they got this big test thing one, one weekend uh, from people uh, outside of Topeka. They put it in the paper, and, uh, or not outside of Topeka, but outside of uh, their plant. And uh, they gave us a bunch of tests. As a matter of fact, they gave us the test at Topeka High's uh, 
uh, cafeteria. It was all on Saturday. They had about 200 people in the cafeteria. They gave us all tests and they stopped and went through the tests and they said, only the people whose names we read get to uh, stay, everybody else can leave. And by this time, uh, 200 people was down to about 50. Wow. Yeah, and then they went back over some more stuff and they said, we'll be calling you. And I was one of the people they called. And they had 15 people that they wanted and only one black me. Well, there was another guy, but he, he started a few months later. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just, uh, they, had, they, they were in an apprenticeship program that the government helped pay. They said, well, you know, if you hire some people, we'll help you pay, you know, and they did that for several years. And finally they said, well, you gotta have a girl in here. And uh, they said, why? Uh, you know, but anyway, they hired this black girl killing two birds with one stone. They had their black person for that year and they had a girl for that year. And they sent her to the worst part of the plant where you get covered with carbon black, which is a, a powdery, tires aren't black, you know, it's, it's a, a carbon thing that makes the tire stronger. And they put her back there with all these uh, guys who, you know, just talk bad and did stuff. And then she have to go to the bathroom. It reminds me of that movie where those three girls uh, were, uh, some few years ago that about the, what was the name of the movie? Three black girls that were uh, working for the space of department oh. and they had to run down the street well she had to do the same thing she would go back in the office where a few other women were and try to use the women's restroom and they would complain they said she was too dirty to be back there and they'd get dirty because she was in carbon black and it is dirty so you know Goodyear finally had to build some bathrooms because there was no women in Goodyear when I started this I think four old ladies from way back in the uh, 40s or 50s. Yeah, it was all men thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I know guys used to just dress right there in the middle of the floor, you know. So uh, yeah. totally different world. Yeah, the, the adults and adult actions and places where you couldn't go eat right here in Topeka, you know. You know, places couldn't go to the movie theater. You had to go up in the balcony or you know, just stuff like that. And that was after you're an adult, you realize that happens. Well, we definitely still have things to do today, but in uh, 54, uh, we grab the uh, bull by the horns and start working on it. And uh, of course it wasn't just Topeka, and uh, some of the best lawyers were from Topeka. Uh, mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I knew um, uh, Scotts and Jacksons and uh, different people, but as a kid, and even my parents, they weren't real, uh, you know, they just worked and made a little money and they weren't broke. I mean, I never was, we never had any kind of a, a money. They never got uh, checks from the government or not. I've never, never received um, welfare or anything like that in my whole life. Mm -hmm. uh, either my parents were working or I was working and my wife was working, uh, you know, but um, that doesn't mean that it, there's people who don't get the opportunity to do a lot of that things because they, you know, don't get the education that's necessary. And uh, not that I'm a, a genius or nothing. Uh, my sister is pretty bright, but uh, uh, and my wife, go, go, she, she, when she did start going from Buchanan to uh, Loman Hill, uh, they would uh, cross her. She could spell. I mean, spell. And uh, the teachers would take some of her stuff and just put it away because they didn't want her to outspell. They had several girls and then they were having like little tour, little spelling bee things. Mm -hmm. And my wife wasn't allowed to, to do it. Because she was smarter? Or she, she was did, very, she, she was very she smart uh, in spelling. Uh -huh. But uh, why would she not get a chance to do it? You uh -huh. know, but she had been going to, uh, to uh, uh, Buchanan mm -hmm. and finally she got over to, uh, uh, Loman Hill, mm -hmm. but you know, things so, like that, 
uh, after you get older, you realize that that happened, just like I was telling you about the kids on different floors and having different activities. And oh, and she was one of the first people who became uh, 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 Highland Park, uh, what do they call them? Ma when you, it's, not, it's not the cheerleader mm -hmm. per se, it's the marching, there, there's a group that they call the, the Lassies, Bonnie Lassies, okay. you know, and they marched and did different, and she's the only black girl in the Bonnie Lassies, you know, and so, you know, that was something different because they had been never any, mm -hmm. never had any. Was it ever a thought to try to change things while you were in high school or was it just the knowing? Kind of going along and just knowing that. Yeah. No, I think there was, especially later on, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a friend of mine, he went to the breakfast the other day, uh, you know, and he was uh, always out talking to people and marching around and, you know, getting uh, in trouble for it and, uh, you know, uh, so yes, there was people uh, who mar marched and sang and, and did various things. You know, go water in 64, hot water in 65, bread water in 66, you know, or, or I forgot the exact years, but you know, that kind of thing, you know, mm -hmm. just, uh, and when Martin Luther King was assassinated, oh my goodness, Topeka had some things, but then some things did change after that, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they did change, because uh, one is uh, I got uh, picked up uh, for, sitting on the Kansas Avenue with this friend of mine who was out there walking around and saying things and they said you get out of here or, or we're taking you to jail and I said listen he's he's not even that old come on man let's go no I'm not gonna go and they grabbed him and of course took him down to the police station and they said you you set out or get out of here or sit down and so I said, I went and sat down, and they took him upstairs, which was illegal. He hadn't told him his age. And uh, the uh, guy at the front desk, I said, hey, his name is what it was, and his age, and, and he said, oh, okay. He started writing all that down. And then here comes the mean guy, <laughs> the guy who was uh, doing all the bad talk. He said, didn't I tell you to go sit down? And I said, well, I'm just trying to explain. Well, just get out of here. Right. And he walked right up behind me. Mm -hmm. And I said, and I just went going to the door and he said, you're not walking fast enough, walk faster. And I said, I stepped out on the step and I said, well, I'll be. And he said, you better not lauder or we'll take you in. I said, oh, and they drug me in and mm -hmm. I got out. I didn't get charged with anything, but I had to be in there for a, a night. And that's back when I was. I don't know, 18 or 19. Oh, when so the, just yeah. legal enough to do that. Huh? Yeah, and I told him that he was, uh, you know, and they went and grabbed him. Go get, uh, uh, they called him, uh, because he was saying, I refuse to do uh, what, on the grounds that it may incriminate me. And he said, tell us your name and age is not going to incriminate you, fool. <laughs> and anyway, they drug him out to the juvenile place and they kept him 30 minutes and sent him home. Oh. But I had to <laughs> be, I was in there overnight, yeah. And then, they, you know, what the court didn't, didn't do nothing. I didn't get nothing well, other than the fact that I was in there overnight. But you know, but it's that kind of thing. Uh, of course, Martin Luther King uh, getting uh, uh, killed it was the type of thing that would uh, incite us. But it didn't do much for Topeka. There was a few people that marched like he did. They had the military out all over everywhere. What do you think Topeka's at? I, I just wonder how the average person is seeing this. I think it's just fascinating. And, uh, you know, it's uh, something to be part of and uh, assured by. But I wonder, I wonder if those old guys that were, that was talking about Martin Luther Kuhn and all that, mm -hmm. are they any different, uh, you know, guys who said that, uh, oh, my grandmother, she don't even think that y'all people are real. She don't think you're uh, really humans. 
and they, you know, they'd be telling me that, and this is as an adult, mm -hmm. you know, but man, it, places where a bunch of men are working there together, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was rough. And I, so that means that I'm wondering now how it is in their minds now. You know, of course, they're, some of them are way older. I'm 72, so, uh, you know, they 172 by now. <laughs> I wish that my, and, and my kids, uh, Reuben, well, not Robbie, it lives in Wichita, but the other children and the grandchildren are all, well, they're, they're all college graduates, mm -hmm. and, uh, and they, my daughter is just a real, uh, listen, I don't take that, blah, 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 blah. You know, she's, and her husband's a real nice guy, but he's the head of, of uh, at, uh, at uh, uh, VA, he's the head of uh, the area that they work in. Uh, you know, he, he travels all over the country, just like Ruben, but he's, matter of fact, he works with Ruben, oh, okay. uh, working on these different projects and stuff that they go do. But you know, what I'm saying is that uh, they do seem to have a better life. They make a lot more money than I do, and uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. And it wasn't that way several years ago, you know, it wasn't that way. You, you couldn't get uh, certain types of jobs, you know, and you had bosses asking you, are you gonna be going out and doing this and that? I mean, you know, that's uh, not proper and it's, but you could do it. Mm -hmm. You could do it and nobody said anything. You'd lose your job if you did. And, it, and it, you know, they'd say things like, well, you guys aren't qualified. And then the guys you work with said, the only reason they hired you is because they're making them hire you and all that kind of stuff. So it could, I'm sure, get better, but it, it's better than it was. It's definitely better than it was.